This video is a presentation of the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Baked Egg Rolls Hello, I'm Chef David Kamen, and I'm working with the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. I'm here with my eight-year-old daughter, Teshley, who's going to be my kitchen helper today. We're going to show you how to use leftover chicken to quickly, easily, and inexpensively make a dish that will please the whole family. Today we're making baked egg rolls. This recipe is from the Keep the Beat Recipes Deliciously Healthy Family Meals Cookbook. These recipes have lots of helpful tips, including how to use leftover chicken, vegetables, and other foods. In fact, the leftover friendly symbol in the book points out exactly which recipes are good for leftovers. Tesha, you ready to start cooking? Yes. Alrighty then. Be sure to wash your hands really well before you start to work. First, we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 400 degrees, and then we're going to take a look at our ingredients. All of our ingredients are prepared and measured and laid out on the counter so they're all ready to go. It's very important to be really organized before you start cooking because once you start, it goes fast. So first, we have some vegetable oil, sesame oil, ginger, garlic, and light soy sauce. Tesh, what else do we have here? Shredded cabbage, carrots, and leftover chicken. Great, and then we also have some phyllo dough, which is wrapped in a wet towel, which is the way you want to store phyllo dough while you're using it. And then of course we have some cooking spray, which we're going to put in between the layers. Okay, so now I'm going to add the vegetable oil and the sesame oil to this large nonstick saute pan. Or you can also use a wok if you have one. Parents, you'll want to take over some of the kitchen activities, especially ones that involve using an oven, stove top, and especially knives. It's up to you to determine what tasks your child can handle safely. So we've got our vegetable oil getting nice and hot inside the pan. And Teshley, would you please add the ginger and the garlic to the pan? Just dump them right inside there. Good. Now go ahead and add the other one in there. Beautiful. Nice job. Okay. So we're going to cook the garlic and the ginger until they're nice and clear and until they smell really, really good. It smells good, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So next we're going to be ready for the cabbage and the carrots. Tashley, can you go ahead and add the cabbage inside there? Can you reach it? Mm-hmm. All right. Good job. We're going to dump them right inside there. All right. Okay. One. Good. Right. One, two, three. Dump. Good job. All right. And then the carrots. Okay. And the carrots. Go ahead. One, two, three. Dump. Good job. Okay. And then we're going to want to toss these around, stir fry the cabbage and the carrots inside the pan, for about two or three minutes until the cabbage gets nice and soft. Okay, so we're ready for the last two ingredients now. Our cabbage is nice and soft, and our carrots are also getting kind of soft, so we're ready to add in the chicken and the soy sauce. So, Teshley, if you would please, go ahead and drop the chicken right in there. There's the chicken. That's the chicken. And then the soy sauce. And the soy sauce. Go ahead. Good job. That's it. Just a little bit of soy sauce. And then we're going to continue to toss this around for another minute or two, just until the chicken is hot and everything is all evenly mixed. Okay, so the chicken is now all heated through nicely and the sauce is mixed in there. Everything is looking really good. So what we want to do at this point is turn it off and we're going to put this mixture into a colander and allow it to drain. So. I'm going to go ahead and tip it. Tesha, why don't you take the spoon uh -huh. and just help scrape that stuff out of the pan there into the colander. Great. Nice job. Thank you very much. So we're going to go ahead and just let this drain. So now comes the fun stuff, folding the egg rolls. To work with phyllo dough, you want to make sure that the dough stays moist. So we have our dough covered with a damp towel over here. And what we're going to do to make the egg rolls is we're going to take a sheet of phyllo dough very carefully because it's very delicate and we're going to lay it right over here on our cutting board. All right, now Tashley, yes. if you would just go ahead and spray a little bit of spray really quickly on the dough. Okay. Okay, and you want to do it kind of like this. You want to go all the way around. That's it, just like that. Okay, so you want to go ahead and grab another piece of dough, please. Okay. Can you get that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just got to be careful because it's very, very delicate. That's great. I'll take that side, and pick up that side. Good, and just lay it down right like that. And we're gonna do this a total of four times because we wanna have four pieces of dough 
stacked up with just a little bit of spray in between each one. And what the spray will do is the spray will help keep it nice and crispy inside the oven. That's great. Nice job. Okay, cover that back up with the towel. Yep. While I spray it one last time. Good. And now we're going to cut the dough into four squares. We're going to go once and a half this way, and then once and a half that way. So our dough has all been layered and cut, and we're ready to go ahead and fill them. So I've got a one cup measuring cup here, and then I'm going to grab a spoon, and I'm going to grab our filling. And what we want to do is we want to put one cup of filling in the middle of each of the squares. So we're going to take a spoon, fill up a one cup measuring cup, just like that, nice and full. So we want to get all our veggies inside there, okay? And Teshley, you can yes. dump that right in the middle of each square of dough, okay? Just going to dump it right in the middle of each square of dough, okay? There we go. Going to pick up one corner, fold it into the middle, good. Then take one side. Yeah, that side's good. Fold it into the middle. Great. Then take the other side. Fold it into the middle. Good. And then we're going to flip the bottom up onto the last corner. Okay. Good. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to put these carefully on our pan. Okay. Just like that. So we're going to go ahead and finish these in a 400 degree oven and we'll let them bake for about 15 or 20 minutes until they're good and brown and crisp. All right, well, it's been about 20 minutes or so. Let's check on those egg rolls. Whoa, they look delicious. I can't wait to try one of those. What do you think? Yum, this is one of my favorite recipes. Cool. Be sure to let the egg rolls cool down first. All right, let's take a bite. Good idea. of backslash healthy eating. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Institutes of Health, and the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute.